Hi again. This is part two of a video series on installing a line shaft in my workshop in France. I said in the first video that um, we'd have a bit of a closer look at the pulleys that I'm going to be using. So, true to my word, here we are. We'll start off with the French pulleys, which are wooden. Well, no, they're not all wooden. Some of them are made of iron and steel, but um, all the wooden pulleys are French, if you get me. Anyway, this is the biggest of the, the wooden French pulleys. It's 94 centimetres in diameter, and because of that, will probably be too big to use in the line shaft project. Um, it originally came from a butter churn, and, well, I'm no great expert on the subject of churning butter, but I suspect that you wanted a big, slow pulley on that to turn the butter churn over slowly. I don't imagine that a butter churn would fly around at huge RPM, so maybe eminently suitable for churning butter, but probably not so suitable for my small line shaft. It will, however, look very nice hanging on a wall, I reckon, um, if it doesn't get used, which is likely. Now, the construction of these things is all pretty similar. There's some minor variations, but I'll show you this one in a bit more detail so that you, you get the idea. Sort of moving in, you'll see that um, it's got four spokes. There are two main spokes and two secondary spokes. The two main spokes have a notch in the middle, a circular notch to clamp the shaft as the two halves of the pulley are bolted together. Now, the wooden pulleys are all split like this. Um, it will make putting them on shafts and taking them off again way easier than it would be if we had to thread them on from the end. Uh, I've treated the pulley with, given it a, a going over with a wire brush, then a light sanding and then some xylophene, a water-based wood preserver. The, the hardware, the, the nuts and bolts and washers I've spruced up with a wire brush and given them a light coat of WD-40 and it all looks pretty good. I might go back over these pulleys and give them a more thorough sanding at some point. I don't know. This one looks pretty good the way it is, I reckon. Um, the bolts have got a square shoulder on them. This is not unusual. And that goes into a kind of... Can you see it? Maybe not brilliantly, but there's a square cut notch at the top of the hole. So the bolt, round-headed bolts, secure them, anchor themselves, basically, in the square notch. So you only need to use a spanner at the on the nut, not worry about holding it at the other end. And all but one of the pulleys, the, the wood was intact and the, bolt, the bolts were not rotating. On one pulley they were, it was a bit different, but I think eight out of nine isn't bad, considering their age. Um, you'll see here that there are two dowels that locate into locating holes here um, to make the whole thing nice and secure. Um, in some cases the dowels are offset so that there's only one way you can put the, the pulley back together again. Um, I'm not sure whether they are in this one or not. And in some of the smaller pulleys, instead of dowels, there are just two, two ordinary nails sticking out that go into little holes. Um, I think that's about it really, that's the, the principle. They clamped the shaft, if they're the wrong size you can put in a wooden sleeve, um, a split wooden sleeve, or in some cases they've just put a piece of leather. Uh, to wrap round the shaft for grip. I believe something sandpaper is used for that as well, with uh, wooden and uh, metal pulleys. And finally, the construction. Um, if I'll just lift this up. It's maybe not the easiest one to see it on, but it's all made in small segments. You can see the join there. Yeah, so they're all built up in small segments of wood. Um, that are built round and round and apparently the grain goes all in the same direction as the belt drive will be to make it more strong. Um, so there we go. That's the 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 wooden the, the big wooden pulley. This is also quite a nice one. It's much smaller. It's about a foot across, about 30 centimetres or so. Um, you can see the central wooden sleeve there for clamping it onto a shaft of a certain size. Uh, it uh, has only got the one main spoke, it doesn't have uh, secondary spokes. And as you can see, the bolts go in from different directions on this one. Um, on these smaller pulleys, the bolts tend to be captive. You can't get them out because of the constrained by the, the, the rim of the pulley. Which means that it's harder to clean up the bolts with the wire brush, but it also means that you're not going to lose them very easily. Um, so, another fairly typical example. This is good because... You can see that it's got. You can see the 
the structure of it much more clearly, the way that it's been built up in sections. Some of them have these little spacers to tap into the gaps at the end as well. Um, but this is a nice little piece. Um, it came from a cider press. And this is another one that's really interesting because it's again about a foot in diameter, maybe slightly larger, but it must be a good seven inches uh, wide. So it's be able to take a very big belt, this one. Um, uh, if you look inside, you might be able to see um, that it's got a double spokes. So it's got four four bolts holding it together across the width of the, the pulley. Um, again, in every other respect, similar. Um, unfortunately, this one's not in such good condition. You can see there that quite a lot of this wood rotted away. Um, but it's such a nice pulley, this, that I might see if I can build that back up again somehow. If anybody's got any suggestions as to a good way to do that, I'd be very interested to to know. Uh, okay, now on to the metal pulleys. This one's from the Pex Sock Factory in Leicester. Um, it's fabricated... It, sorry, it's made of pressed steel. It is fabricated, but it's made from pressed steel. Um, even the rims, as you can see here, they're rolled over, um, but it's all quite flat pressed steel. Um, again, it's a split pulley. All the pulleys that I've got are split apart from the cast iron ones. I believe you can get cast iron split pulleys, but I don't have any. I've never seen one. Um, there's a little locating pin there, which goes into a hole there, just to hold it all together so that it all runs true. There's this lovely cast iron brush in the middle, um, absolutely gorgeous piece of cast iron, um, which fits the shaft. And um, uh, I've had a look on the internet for uh, pressed steel pulleys and I couldn't find anything, so maybe that these are quite unusual, um, I'm not sure. Again from PEX, this is a different kind of fabricated pulley with thicker steel rim um, and round steel spokes which have been welded into the rim and to the hub. Uh, it's again a split pulley and it's joined by these two plates, one at each side. It's a heavier duty pulley than the, the pressed steel one. And finally, cast iron pulleys. Some with straight spokes, some with nice curved spokes like this. Um, some from the Pex factory, um, some French from here. Uh, this is a French one. Uh, it's a nice little pulley. I've got some cast iron pulleys in various sizes. None of these are split. Um, and this one was used in a cider press. But not the same cider press as the wooden pulleys came from. So there we are. There's a quick whistle stop tour of the pulleys that are going to go onto the line shaft that I'm installing here. Thank you for your interest. See you later.